I'm amazed at the thousands of shrubs that they're getting planted. It's, uh, they planted 3,500 shrubs in an afternoon on my place. That's wonderful. We're getting 3,000 to 4,000 plants in in three hours uh, with a crew of three, as opposed to hand planting uh, where we'd have a crew of 20 or something and, and get only a couple thousand in a day. It's good. This endeavor is a cooperative effort between Idaho Fish and Game, the Farm Service Agency, Natural Resource Conservation Service, and local landowners. One of these special planters was purchased with grant money from Monsanto. In addition to providing a method for planting thousands more shrubs, it may help farmers improve the land they have set aside in a special federal program called the Conservation Reserve Program, or CRP. The landowners uh, have taken the, the land out of production uh, for a number of years now, and we've been able to make contact with a lot of private individuals that are really interested in improving these properties for wildlife. Well, when you, when you live and work outside every day, uh, you get really close to the wildlife. And the initial motivation, I think, is to provide a good food source, especially in, in the wintertime for deer and, and birds. But longer term, uh, they'll do, they're being planted in areas that were highly erodible and holding the soil in place and providing cover are going hand in hand. Okay. I'm really sold on the project. The motivation for fish and game biologists is to enhance habitat as part of a program called the Mule Deer Initiative. The goals are to increase mule deer numbers, manage predators, provide more hunter access, and keep the hunting public informed and involved. This effort to expand available forage for mule deer is critical for providing quality winter range, a key component to winter survival. We're just going to keep going at this year after year after year, and we will make a difference. Steve Liebenthal reporting.